welcome! Great to have you here! Oh, aren't you glad it's weekend and we are able to connect in this way? Are you ready to start? Ah, oh, I'm excited about M Kids. I hope you are. Let's get going. James 5 verse 16 Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. We have told one another it helps when we admit when we were wrong and when we say sorry. That is the first part of this verse. Today we want to look at the second part. Pray for each other so that you can be healed. The prayer of a believer has a mighty outcome. So, often people can be physically healed because Jesus does miracles. But there is more than physical illness and becoming physically better. We can also feel better emotionally when we pray and when we are prayed for. So why do you think a prayer from someone who knows and follows Jesus can make such a big difference in our lives. I think it makes us feel less lonely. We remember that we are a part of a big faith family with Jesus as the head. We are reminded that Jesus can do big, amazing things and thus that he can also help us in our lives. When someone takes our hand and brings us to Jesus by praying for us, we can feel closer to God as well. Because someone is praying to Jesus on behalf of us. They're praying for us. They're telling God, this is what's going on in, my, in his life or in her life and this is what she needs. When we are at a stage in our lives when we don't know what to pray, then someone else praying for us can help us to feel that God is still with us and that he still cares and that person who prays for us can also help us to put into words everything that we can't say in that moment. That's quite special. So it is great. It's absolutely a wonderful gift when someone prays for you. It can mean so much. But here's the thing. You can also pray for someone in your life. Think about someone you want to pray for. Now think about what you want to pray for that person. Make a prayer list this week. Stop every morning when you get to this list and pray for each person that you've written down. You can feel better when someone prays for you, but you can also help someone else feel better when you let them know that you're praying for them. What an amazing gift when someone prays for you. And what an amazing gift to be able to pray and to feel Jesus' love. Through you the blind will see, through you the mute will sing, through you the dead will rise, through you all hearts will praise. Through you the darkness flees Through you my heart screams I am free And I am free to run
Thank you very much that there are people praying for us. That is such a special, wonderful gift. Today, we also want to pray for those in our lives. We pray for the teachers at school. We pray for our parents and our families. Father, we also pray for our friends. Thank you that we know that you listen and that we can remember that you love us. Amen. Bye, guys. <laughs>